Well, we hope you brought your rapping skills. No, seriously. Nope. <laughs> He's so freaking good. Oh my gosh. You're a monster. I can swallow. Oh, it's Eminem. So he's back. <laughs> I remember this fondly. You might see a certain cameo from someone in this video. Let's watch and uh, see. He's so talented. It's insane. He's so freaking good. Oh my gosh. He goes pretty hard still. How old is he now? He's like 40 something, 47? 47, he's 47 and he can still rap like this? Damn. He looks like a dad now, not gonna lie. I'm used to just the bleached hair. God damn, he's good. It has a good beat though. Like, da -da 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 -da. I feel like that. Oh, because. Ah! That is what drugs looks like. <laughs> oh, the faces. Oh my goodness, those eyes. Who's that? Oh, is that Juice World? Ah! It's so crazy seeing it live. Or like, actually all together. Ah! <laughs> Look at a basketball. Clever. Oh, nice. Little throwback. Still going off just... I had to do that so many times, and it was so hot inside of this, uh, the straight jacket. Like, I was like, oh, this is so cool, what a fun experience. And then I was sitting there in the bed, and I literally was like, oh god, like, this is so hot. We're on take 15, you have to, like, swing and flail your body around. He's so good, but just, like, it just sounds so, like, like the same thing over and over and over again. Whoa. The crazy part, notice the bazookas with like the children's school items. There are layers upon layers to this. That is... I, I'm here for 2020 Eminem. I hate it when you puke Legos. That's cool. Oh, look at that. Who's that hot stuff right there? No! Is that George? Stop! So fun fact about shooting this video, everything that Eminem did, I did as well before him. I was not only his stand-in, but also the younger Eminem. I would have to learn his choreography, his movements, and uh, do it for the camera before he even stepped on the set. And then they'd walk over with a little, uh, um, uh, iPad or whatever and be like, do it exactly like George. Oh. Oh, what the f Mike? M, is that you? <laughs> Mike Tyson! Mike? M, is that you? <sighs> I mean... What the f***? Sorry, please. <laughs> Mike Tyson out of nowhere. All right. Oh, sh... <laughs> you gotta, gotta give a shout out to Dre. Dre put him on. Dre was super, super, super cool, too. Right. Rap God level right now. I've seen TikToks of people doing this part. He's going a mile a minute. He's saying like 75 words in 35 seconds. I know we've all forgotten what rap music sounds like because we've been listening to whatever the f*** has been going on lately, but this is good sh Man, stop. Look what I'm planning. <laughs> I hope everybody having a good day. Oh, that just gave me chills. I hope everybody accomplished something significant. That's so I mean, sweet to add that in. Anything. Even if you didn't accomplish anything significant, don't be discouraged. Just aim to accomplish something significant mm -hmm. tomorrow and the next. I'm really glad they did this. Um, if anybody's going crazy, man, a lot of a lot of young artists passing away. I, I hope and I pray that you get through it. And just know that you do have the strength to get through whatever the f you're going through, no matter what it is. Love him. Yes, Cole. That was cool of Cole to do that. I remember, like, for a split second being on set and being like, yo, where's Juice? Like, he needs to do his his verse. Then I was like, oh, sh That's when it really hit me that he was gone. It wasn't a quick little, like, in memory of. It was like, thank you, including his quote, like what he's saying. Words of it, those words of encouragement, and they gave it the time and space for people to process. I think it's a really well done way to do it. It's the classic Eminem sound, you know, that never changes, but like 
having Juice World in it, it's definitely adding a different layer that I'm not used to with an Eminem song. Kind of sounds like his collaboration with, not like, like Rihanna, but on the same like, Spectrum. So you were actually in this music yes, video. Yes, I was. So can you tell us about what that experience was like for you? Uh, it was so cool. I honestly uh, didn't know what I was filming until I rolled up on set. My younger self never would have thought that I would have the opportunity to not only be myself in a major rapper's music video, but also play the younger version of him, which is as we all know, kind of polar opposite of what I am every day. It was really humbling, a really awesome experience, and I'm really flattered that I've been given an opportunity like this. So that was Eminem's new music video for Godzilla, featuring Juice World, who tragically passed away in December of 2019, but yeah. is still featured on this track. And as you obviously saw, they paid tribute to him at the end of this video. I think that was really nice. Just even including that clip, like that's really nice, that's showing you. A lot of respect, so I like that. So we're gonna talk more about that in just a bit, but before the music video was released, Eminem himself actually took to Twitter to boost the hype for the song. Oh. Hashtag Godzilla challenge is on. Who can spit it? Reposting and got prizes for my favorites. Ooh. He's just bragging at this point that he can do this as many times as he wants. Jesus Christ. All right, I hope you guys don't make us do this because I'm gonna be like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm having an aneurysm. That's pretty cool. Eminem doesn't do anything with social media anyway, so for him to actually go and promote it, it's kind of a big deal. So after Marshall posted this video of him rapping one particularly difficult verse in the song, the internet did what it does best and the Godzilla challenge was born. So we're gonna look at what some people have done with it. Okay, yeah. Dang. Ooh, smooth at the glasses. <laughs> Oh my goodness. How do people talk that fast? I don't even know if I know this many words of the English language. What's crazy is that like, this guy had to take a breath, right? Or two in between. Eminem just like kind of bounced the whole thing throughout like, what is this man's lung capacity? I don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna do Godzilla and it's on. 1.25? 1.25 speed? Why? You wanna die? Take a happy packy, put a splat cake, you clap for the bad things, you put a happy, take a back seat, 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 take a back Julia Weber? 20? You're killing me. Oh my god, I can't even understand anything anymore. All right, man, stop. What? Okay. Maybe like six shots I might be able to do on it. Imagine the absolute clout of pulling this out at a party and just absolutely going off. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Save. Honey, she's killing it. She doesn't even have to try. Goddess. Bye. That was adorable. <laughs> If that's not Eminem's favorite, I don't know what is. That would be me trying to rap that song. That's what I would sound like. Well, we hope you brought your rapping skills. No, seriously. Because we thought it's only fitting for you to try this challenge out yourself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is gonna be terrible. But since we aren't monsters, we're gonna give you a little bit of help and let you look at the lyrics and we'll have the song playing on the laptop for you too. That still is not going to help me. Like, I'm going to be behind. This is gonna be a disaster. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> I didn't even get to start. Filling with the venom and eliminate him. Other words, I eliminate him. Don't worry about it. Filling with the venom and eliminate him. Other words, I eliminate him. I don't want to hurt him. I'm going to murder and rage nobody will be there. I'm finna kill him and dump all the bodies in the lake of the birdie. Oh my god. Filling with the venom and eliminate him. Other words, I eliminate him. Don't want to hurt him, but I fall. Oh. Um, if you're watching this, I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, you see, I don't even know where I am now. Tell him with the venom and eliminate him. Other words, I'm intimate. I don't want to hurt him, but I'm in a rage. I'm murdering him again. I, uh, stop it! Uh, 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 uh. Then I kill him and dump him all body. Oh! Hitting me up with the venom and eliminate him. Three dunk boots. 
<laughs> my brain can't think this fast. Oh my gosh, Vanilla Gorilla? You're bringing the killer without Stephen to me. I can't even get through this sentence that fast. I'm dead debatable, I'm inflatable, I'm inflatable, I'm uh, unflappable. <laughs> you. <laughs> Man, stop. Blown up like inflatable, I'm in a dead alive. I'm butterfly. Man, stop. I can do that part. Look what I'm planning! I saw it and I heard it in my head and I'm like, fill him with the venom and eliminate him. And I'm like, cool, I can do that. No. So as of filming this episode, the Godzilla music video already has over 32 million views. Wow, I mean, it makes sense. It's a really cool music video. One of the things a lot of people seem to be talking about is the so-called bizarre and absurd imagery throughout the video. It's an Eminem video, what do you want? Some are speculating about the deeper meaning behind some of the images and behind the video as a whole. But what do you think? Was there deeper meaning here? Not really. This stuff's always really surreal. I, I think it's hard, you have to like really peel it back. Clearly he's making a comment on like society to some degree, he always is. There was a lot of scenes about how he was like taking shots and drinking and then the chorus would be like, I'm a monster and it's kind of like, how you're spiraling out of control, it seems like. Even at the end, to the tribute to Juice World and stuff like that, I feel like this ties in a lot with addiction and stuff like that. I actually spoke with the FX department and you know just got the vibe from production while we were shooting for two days. And there is um, a lot more than you realize and a lot of small details. And uh, a lot of it, a lot of it has to do with his um, history an eight mile-esque type things. People don't realize that he's su he was such a weird dude back in the day. And then he had this little streak of like, I'm gonna be mainstream, I'm gonna just do regular pop and rap. And now he's kind of coming back into it and people are like, oh, this is weird. I just remember that one song he did with Rihanna. Eminem's broken many records throughout the years and in Godzilla, he actually broke his own record, reportedly rapping at a speed of 2,229 words in just 30 seconds during the verse that he used to spark the Godzilla challenge. Imagine being that talented, you just try to break your own record, like. <laughs> We've seen a lot of music artists recently trying to capitalize on social media and challenges specifically for a marketing tool. But for somebody who's been in the game for so long, what do you think about how Eminem is adapting to the current music and social media scene. I think it's great. You could you could be that, you know, get off my lawn old guy and be like, screw this, I don't need Twitter. If you want to continue having a career that thrives, you have to adapt to the changes that are taking place and, and throwing it up on, seeing what's going on and throwing it up on Twitter as a challenge, it's brilliant. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Like look at Lil Nas, like who was Lil Nas before and now he's like, performing at the Grammys, and it all started because of a meme. I love it. I, I, I immediately was like, yes, I'm glad people are doing this challenge. And I don't say that about all challenges. A lot of them I think are kind of dumb. But it's like, it's also like A, challenging people to rap better, and then B, it just puts his music and his style of rap out there more. And like, I personally think it's the best rapper alive is Eminem. So I love that it's going out there and people are doing it and people are trying to do it. They should be looking up to that. So finally, Eminem is nearly 50 years old. He is 47. But as he said in his song, he has no plans to retire. I want to see Eminem rapping in like into his 80s. So before we go, what would your advice for the rapper in this phase of his career be? Dude, just keep doing what you're doing. I don't think you need any advice from me. You obviously know how this game goes. Just keep doing what you're doing. This isn't a poster child for anything other than doing what you love. Stay true to you, keep doing music that you love. People are gonna keep loving it. As long as you're doing what you love, we're gonna do what you love too. Keep doing what you're doing and then keep on investing in, in the, the up and coming hip hop artists that you see that have that that little spark. You've learned so much, good or bad, through your career, pass that on. I mean, that's why we go through the things we go through, is to help other people not make the same mistakes. Thanks for watching this episode of Adults React. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss episode. Shout out to Sun Yun Lee. Thanks for watching, man, stop. Hey everyone, Lauren Freese here at FBE. Did you know that this episode was requested by our fans in the comments? If you wanna know if we read all those comments, we definitely do. So please let us know what you wanna see us react to next down below. Bye everyone.